2.1c prime factorization. Here we're actually dealing with prime factorization. Everything else was leading up to this. Prime factorization is a product of prime numbers. To find a prime factorization, we are literally dividing by prime numbers. You can also use composite numbers, but um, it will take you a little bit longer to do. So just be aware of that. Okay, so let's try some. To find the prime factorization for 360, I would just start by writing 360. And what I do is I kind of do what um, is called a reverse division um, or something like that. And anyway, first thing I notice is that we end in 0, so that means it's divisible by 2. Okay, so when I divide 360 by 2, I'm going to get um, 180, okay, and I put that down here. 180 is divisible by, guess what? It's divisible by 2 again. And when I divide 180 by 2, I'm going to get 90. And I look at the 90, and 90 is divisible by 2 and I get 45. Well, 45 it ends in 5, so that means it has to be divisible by 5. And, whoops, got a little ahead of myself. That means it's divi- and we get 9, which is divisible by 3, and I'm left with 3. Everything over on this side that's not in the box here. Those are my prime factors. If you ever get a number out there that's not a prime factor, that means you need to break it down. So what that means here is my prime factorization then is 2 cubed. We generally write these in order from smallest to largest. 3 squared times 5. Okay, so let's try another one. We're looking at 1224, and it's obvious, at least to me anyway, that's divisible by 2. So if we divide this by 2, we're going to get 612. Okay, 612 is divisible by 2. So I'll put my 2 out here, and when I divide that by 2, I'm going to get 306. Well, 306 divisible by 2, so I'll put another 2 out here, and we'll get 153. 153 gets a little bit harder here, but let's see. Not divisible by 2, not divisible by 5, so the next one I want to check is 3. So we have 1 plus 5 is 6, plus 3 gives me 9, so that means it's divisible by 3. So we're going to get, what do we get? 51. <coughs> Excuse me. 51, let's see. Not divisible by 2, not divisible by 5, but 5 plus 1 is 6, and that's divisible by 3, so we'll divide this by 3. 3 is going to go in there, let's see, one time, three, or 3 goes in, sorry, 3 goes into 5, one time, and we'll have, it'll go in there 17 times. Okay, 17 is a prime number, so that tells me that I'm done. And
and all of these are my prime factorization. So my prime factorization for this number is 2 cubed times 3 squared times 17.